learning paradise. And if you like our videos, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. The Learn Paradise is the place to be. Play, explore, use art and read. Come along with us on our learning journey. Play, explore, use art and read. New videos each and every week. Play, explore, use art and read. E is for explore. Hey guys! Oh, wait. Lauren's connecting. Hold on. Hey Taryn. What are we going to be learning about today? Well, I'm glad you asked Lauren because today we are celebrating the month of the military child. Let me guess. Do you wear purple for the month of the military child? Because I see that I'm wearing purple. Let's see if I'm correct. Wonder if I am. Well, you actually did get that correct, Lauren, because purple is what we wear for the month of the military child, which is actually in April. But why do we wear purple? Well, in today's video, we're going to find that out. So get ready, purple up, and let's celebrate the month of the military child. Before we see some courageous military children, let's hear from our Wavy News 10 friend, Miss Katie Collette. So today we are with Katie Collect from Wavy News 10 and we're going to ask her questions about the month of the military child. So why is it important to celebrate the month of the military child? I think it is so important to celebrate the month of the military child, not just for one month, but I think military children should always be celebrated because I feel as though your lives can be different in so many ways from other children. I know that you live in other countries, you live in other cities, you move around a lot, and sometimes when you do that, you have to be able to make new friends and meet new people. And I know that that can be difficult sometimes. It has to be hard, right, to move from place to place, yes. right? And then you get there and you make those friends, and I really think that you and your experiences have a really great impact. There are not a lot of kids who have been to Okinawa. Some have never left Chesapeake. Some have never left Virginia Beach and look at where you've been. You've already been somewhere around the world. And then the sacrifices that you make as kids when whichever parent might be in the military is gone, I think that that's really important for people to understand and to be able to respect. Thank you. Miss Lauren, you're so sweet. I'm so happy to be here with you today. Thank you. Well, let me ask you, what did it feel like for you when your dad was gone for a year? It felt like... He wasn't really there, but then I got to see him on my birthday. How did you get to see him on your birthday? Well, my mom said I was going to go see my friend, but then I said, hey, this isn't where my friend is, and then I saw Dad. Was he in person? Yeah. You got to see him in person on your birthday? Mm -hmm. Oh, that had to be so special. Did that make you feel so good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel when your dad is deployed, when he's gone? Well, while he was gone, it it was kind of sad without him being there. Mm -hmm. And Lauren and I, we had these paper dolls, and mm -hmm. then we dressed them up like our dad, yeah. and we just took photos with them. And once he came back home, we were super excited to have him home because he was gone for a long time. And see, that's another reason why this month is so important. You can share with other kids ways to help them kind of cope with missing a parent by something just as simple as creating something that looks like them. And you kind of took him with you everywhere you went, right? Yeah. So he was with you the whole time. He just might not have known it at that moment. That's great. This was fabulous. Thank you so much. We enjoyed having you on the Learning Paradise. Well, thank you for having me on the Learning Paradise. It's my honor to be here. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. One word to describe a military child is courageous because all those children go through different emotions, being sad, being mad, being happy at some moments. So I will say courageous. Military children often move and we call that PCS. I have PCS to different places. I have lived in Okinawa, Japan, Chesapeake, Virginia, Maryland, and soon we're gonna go to Charleston, South Carolina.
my favorite place is Virginia because we got to see, we got to meet new neighbors. We got to see the botanical, botanical, botanical gardens. We get to meet our family members and it's actually a beautiful place in Virginia. My favorite PCS move is when I moved to Okinawa, Japan. And in Japan, things are very different there. Like you drive on the left side instead of the right. Or sometimes the stop, the street lights appear blue, but they're actually bluish green. So being in Japan opened up my eyes, telling me that America is different from different places. It's a different culture there. They speak a different language than they do in America. English is not the only language that we have in the world. There are many different ones, like in Europe, there's French. And going on trips, there was Korean. So that just told me that I'm not the only one speaking one language. There are more languages and I want to discover them all. One thing I would tell a child in Japan is that when you go into a restaurant and you order ramen, slurping is okay because it tells others around you that your food is oishi, which means yummy in Japanese. My father is in the military and he deployed to Afghanistan. And I remember being very sad, but when he came back, it was all smiles and hugs. And while my dad was gone, he missed my birthday, he missed dance recitals. And during that time, we FaceTimed him, we talked to him. He gave us videos where he read books to us. My sister and I even made this paper little doll where we'd take him around the house and pretend like our dad was there. So. I went through deployment too, and I want to say to any kid that is going through through deployment, find someone you trust, uh, who you can talk to. So it could be, you know, your friend's mom, your mom, your dad, even your teacher, just someone you're really comfortable with. You could talk to it with your friends and tell them that I'm kind of, you know, sad because my parent is away. So just being comfortable with the people that you care for is going to help you while your parents on deployment. I would like my family to PCS to Europe because I'm also taking French classes and so I'm learning how to have a conversation in French and I would love to know something that my family doesn't know yet. <laughs> that answer your question, Lauren? That does answer my question. In fact, military children go through a lot of things. Like they have to move to place to place. But you know, good or bad, it doesn't matter because we're all strong. Yeah, show your muscles. Uh-huh, show your muscles. <laughs> Lauren, you're hilarious, but that actually is true. And if you want to learn more, check out local activities in your area about the month of the military child. And we'll see you next time on The Learning Paradise. Bye! 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 Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy it. Remember to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook.